And this gentleman, Alex Putisi, is co-founder of 100 Men Who Give a Damn. You betcha. Here in Calgary. This is not the only branch, though. No, it is not. Uh, I think we're one of the first ones, male-oriented uh, ones, in Western Canada. Um, Halifax was one of the early ones, but we learned a lot from the 100 Women Who Care group here in town. Yeah, we had uh, Allison on a couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago here as well, too. Yeah, she was one of the, the founders of the 100 Women. Yeah. But what do you give a damn about? <laughs> that, is <laughs> that is your title, well, but what is... If you know me, yeah. I'm fairly opinionated, so quite a bit. But the organization itself uh, is local charities. There's over 2,000 local charities here in Calgary, and, you know, most people don't know that. I, I don't know... You know, just a small number of them. But the idea is, is that we get a group of at least 100 guys together every quarter. Uh, we have a guest speaker come out. Um, anybody can nominate a charity, so any member will nominate a charity in the weeks and months leading up to the meeting. Uh, three of those people will randomly be selected, and they'll come up. They'll present the charity, and we all vote. So we have text voting, it goes up on the screen with graphs alive, and then uh, whoever mm -hmm. receives the most votes, uh, we all cut a check directly to the charity for 100 bucks, and that results in at least a $10,000 donation for that charity. Yeah, that's pretty wow. exciting. Yeah. Alex, we have a, a video question for you, so sure. again, have a look and have a listen. Hey Alex, my name's Matt. I had a quick question about 100 men who give a damn Calgary. Can you explain the difference between giving with this type of organization as opposed to giving money through a charity like the United Way? Thanks. That's a great question. Mm -hmm. The difference, sir. Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the United Way. I mean, we're really just a conduit. And, you know, so what we do is we take the money and donate it directly to the charity. But the big difference is that regardless of where people are at in their giving, right, whether they give a ton or they say, you know what, I don't have a lot to give or I want to get involved in my community, this is a great way to do it. You know, they take their hundred dollars, they donate it to the charity, and then at each meeting, we have a representative from the charity come back, and then they actually explain how that money was used. Mm -hmm. So these guys, I mean, for example, mm -hmm. we sent one little girl to Disneyland, and everybody donated a hundred bucks to do it, but you come back and you really feel like, holy cow, I sent this little girl mm -hmm. to Disneyland. And that's the biggest difference, is that you get to see where your dollars go, you get to really feel like you have an impact on the, on where that money is. It's really great to have that connection, because as you were mentioning earlier, at the grocery store, they ask mm. you for a dollar here, a yeah. dollar there, and you never actually see where your money goes and what it's put towards. But in this case, you get to see it from beginning to end. That's, ex yeah, exactly. You know, and there's nothing wrong with those things, right? I mean, I, I give a buck or five or whatever it is every time somebody asks, but yeah, it is nice being to do it a little bit differently and and we don't even have a bank account so it's not like we're adding mm -hmm. you know we're, we have no administration costs or anything the money goes straight to the charity so it's not like we're adding an extra layer of expense or anything like that you know it's all going straight to them is there a certain level of anonymity as well too um, I mean we're seeing a picture of some of your resident folks here and there's yourself speaking as well too <laughs> Alex but is there a certain level these guys say I don't want people to know it was me uh, I don't think so. I think it, or it, this guy here, the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> that was exciting to have him out last time. Okay. But no, I think really when it comes to anonymity, it's not like anybody's out there um, for fame or attention. But I don't think anybody's worried about uh, them being known. I think it's it, we're creating kind of a community with these guys, and so. You know, now that we're we're going into our about to hit our one year anniversary, and people have been coming each and every meeting, and so people are starting to see people they recognize and really become kind of a band of brothers type deal. So yeah. I don't, you know, I don't know if that answers your question or not. But does that kind of make sense? Well, if you, if somebody gives, uh, you know, Kate mentioned too, when you go to the store and you give your your dollar or two dollars or whatever they were asking for, and you know, you sort of walk away and nobody knows it was you who gave. Well, there's some people who want a little bit of recognition and say, hey, you know what, hey, I, I'm, a, I'm a part of this. And maybe it's a, it's a proud thing, though, to be yeah. a, a part of it. But even though your small little contribution, I'm sure, Jeremy, you can relate a little bit to this, mm -hmm. even your small contribution is part of this big mm -hmm. collective. And all of a sudden, you feel more empowered that you've made a difference. That's exactly it, yeah. And I think in that essence, I don't think people are worried about saying, hey, I want my name to be tied to this. They say, I'm one of 100 or you know, 200 or wherever we're at currently in terms of membership. But yeah, I, I, yeah, the anonymity side of it, I don't think is a huge concern. People just like being a part of this group that's making a difference in our community. Mm -hmm.
next meeting is on Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Can so anyone be a part of this? Any except for Kate. Except for Kate. <laughs> Kate and Trisha can't. <laughs> they're they're good though. There's, but well, there's a women's club out there. <laughs> there is a women's club. Um, our, yeah, our next meeting is Tuesday. Registrations at six. It starts at six thirty. Uh, we have a great special guest, Suzanne West. Uh, she's a big oil and gas tycoon with a social conscience, coming mm -hmm. up to speak. Uh, Denton's has been a great sponsor of ours. There'll be food and drinks there, and. Uh, yeah, I expect to see both of you guys out on Tuesday. Do, do you screen people? Is there a certain, you're looking for a certain criteria? For membership? Yeah. No, it's I mean, have this more hair than me. I mean, what's <laughs> There's a, no, what I mean. What kind of guy you're looking for? It's kind of an every man's thing. I think it's a guy who wants to come in and make a difference and make a commitment. You know, you're going to come, you're going to show up every four months, you're going to cut your check for a hundred bucks, and you're a part of something greater. I think that's the biggest thing. I can't imagine what some of these guys are saying after they've experienced it for the first time. It's pretty amazing, you know, okay. we, and social like, what media. What did you get involved too? I mean, there's another thing. I think for me, my co-founder, his name is Oliver. He knows Allison, who you had on here a few weeks ago, and she's one of the co-founders of 100 Women. And he just said, well, what about men? And we got together and said, this is great. This is missing. It's something that we can do to give back. Wow. And we just ran with it. Congratulations on this fantastic, fantastic collective venture. Thanks. 100 Men Who Give a Damn, and a great title, too. <laughs> Alex uh, Pudisi is a co-founder of 100 Men Who Give a Damn here in Calgary. And if you would like to get involved, you can just go to your website? Yeah, 100mencalgary.com.